Remember that video I made last month about me wanting to lose about 10 pounds? Well, it was a success, and you probably remember me saying that I most likely wouldn't get my abs back within a month's time also, and I was right. So this next challenge is to get them back. So before I get into how I'm gonna get my abs back, I wanna talk about some of the struggles and challenges I face on my 1500 calorie a day challenge. You know I like keeping it real with you guys. The first thing that I struggled with the most, getting all my meals, in a day. During my weight loss, I made sure that I ate three times a day. That way I wouldn't feel hungry or I would feel less hungry throughout the day. And I think that's the biggest challenge when you're going on a cut, when you're losing weight is, you know, you have to, it's a mental game basically. You have to fight that and eating three times a day will really help you mentally when it comes to like losing weight. Cause you don't want to feel like you're, you're hungry. You don't want to feel like that because it just makes the process 10 times harder. That was one of my main struggles. 1500 calories is a lot for me when it comes to cutting weight or losing weight. I normally eat a thousand. I know it sounds crazy, but it works for me. So with my job now, it is very hard for me to get in those three meals a day. I'm not gonna say it's impossible. It's definitely challenging, it's definitely hard, but I'm gonna find a way to get it done. I have to, there's no if, ands, or buts. Another challenge that I faced was being consistent with the workouts. You can lose weight by you know eating less calories than your body requires and not working out but working out just makes it so much easier to lose and burn the calories burn the weight because you're eating less calories than your body's required and plus you're working out on top of that so it just makes the process easier and somewhat faster there's no fast way of losing weight but that's just helped the process goes a lot more smoothly and like faster i guess i can say i guess you can say faster but yeah, anyways, so those were the main things that I struggled with. I feel like I have to find that drive again to do what I did when I went through my weight loss a couple years ago, or when I went through my two month transformation earlier last year. Like I said before, I have to keep it real with you guys. It's not easy losing weight. It's not easy being consistent. It's not easy being disciplined, but there's a way to do it. And you gotta do it if you wanna get to your end goal. So now, for the fun part, this is how I'm gonna get my abs back. And if you wanna do it with me, you're more than welcome to. I'm gonna be telling you guys everything that you need to do that I'm gonna do to get back to where I wanna be. So I put on more weight, I'm back at 197. I think I'm gonna eat this weekend to put me at 200. The main goal is just to get the abs back. I wanna get the abs back, but I don't wanna go under 180 pounds. So I'm gonna throw some more fat on my body, throw some more weight on my body, and then I'm just gonna attack the body fat as much as I can. What I mean by that is the foods that I'll be eating will have low to zero fat in it. So I'm not adding fat onto my body. I'm gonna avoid all sugars. Basically gonna do what I did during my two month transformation and then my weight loss transformation a couple years ago. I'm gonna do that all over again and then I'm going to consistently work out. I'm gonna create a logical plan for me that fits my schedule. So if you wanna do anything like this, make sure the schedule that you plan for your gym routine, make sure it's a realistic one. If you know you struggle getting up at 3 a.m., don't tell yourself to go to the gym at 3.30. Let's be real. And you want it to be as realistic as possible. That way it's like impossible to not be consistent. So I'm gonna be eating a thousand calories every single day for the next 30 days. It is now April 22nd. I'm gonna be starting this challenge on April 24th. So come May 24th, we're gonna check in. We're gonna see how we're looking. If we're still not where we wanna be, we're gonna go another month and then we're gonna go until June 24th. Hopefully my abs will be back by then. I just have to stay consistent and do everything that I need to do. I've done this before. I know I can do it again. And if you wanna go on this journey with me, let's do it. Remember the three steps, workout consistent. Your working out should consist of weightlifting and high intensity cardio. And I don't mean jogging. I don't mean jogging on a treadmill. You could either walk on a treadmill incline, you can do Stairmaster, swimming, go on a bike ride. What I like to do is sprints. I'll do five to 10 reps of five yard sprints. Then I'll go to 10 yards. Then I go to you know 15, then I go to 20, then I go to 25. You know, that's what I'll basically do. I'll just do sprints and it works for me. The row machine is also good. The second thing to diet. Diet, 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 diet. I'm gonna stay away from everything that's fatty. I'm gonna stay away from everything that's high in sugar, low in calories, high in protein. And for the third thing, we are going to get a lot of sleep. What helped me during my weight loss was I, I took a nap and I slept a lot. You can't eat if you're sleeping, that's one. You can't feel hungry if you're sleeping, that's two. And you won't have that urge to be like, yo, I wanna go snack on something if you're sleeping or napping. 
So highly recommend you guys do that. Nap for like an hour a day if you can. Make sure you get your eight hours. If you guys stick to these three steps, I feel like you guys can reach a, a new level when it comes to getting your abs back as well. So this is what I'm gonna be doing to get my abs back. Again, more than welcome to try it out with me. Make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys stay tuned. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And other than that, we are out.